<clears throat> I wonder if it'll mess it up if I, put, if I put it in here. If it's too close, it gets kind of hot. You yeah. Know? So I mean, like, if you just kind of maybe match, like, kind of where I have it, just so it'll be about the same audio. And, you know, for a guy who's on TV professionally, your case of the struggles. This is for the the people at home. <laughs> Like, I don't care what I look like. This is for layman's people. Like, that's why I have it. I just want to make sure people can hear me. <clears throat> uh, okay, Dan here. Uh, DD Speech Shop. We're actually at New Burns. He suckered me down to come all the way to Georgia. Yeah. And he's got me on the blue drinks, because that's all he stocks. No, I offered you ju a juice box and you who. Oh, yeah. That's what you chose. I appreciate it. Well, it was the least revolting. Um, so... We're down here, we're screwing around, we're having a good time. We're actually, we'll probably both have a couple videos of what's happening. Yeah. Um, I've had a blast down here. It snowed. Uh, yeah, it's March. Uh, it's very odd <laughs> to see snow, but the day Dan comes down, he brings the snow. I couldn't believe it. It snowed less at home. Anyway, Yeah. so I thought while well, I'm here, we might as well, I, I put a post up on Facebook and all that, you guys have a bunch of questions to ask world famous celebrity, Dave Newburn. Now, before we get into that, they have, so he's been doing Faster Finnegan now for a while, right? Four, Big, year, four, four years. Four years. Yeah. And just, so this video is going to come out on Tuesday, the first episode where you and Cotton. It's for by ourselves. Or by yourselves. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen the episode where everybody I've heard. You've told me about it and all that. It's the Honda one, right? Yes. So, anyways, I'm asking, if, if you're watching this show, odds are you have the Motor Trend app, because why wouldn't you? Go watch it. It's good. I yeah. love these guys, and uh, man, Cotton and Uburn together are like, uh, they're like the odd couple. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not very smart, but man, we have a good time. <laughs> and man. actually, I saw, the, I don't, can I say I saw the car? Oh, yeah. So I saw the car in person. It looks really good on camera. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you know, I you, would, you, know you would drive it. <laughs> I didn't say I don't I know that you drive. would fit in it, but you would drive it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I, there's a couple questions, but we'll get it, but check it out. Tonight, right now, after you watch the whole video, including all the ads. Yeah. <laughs> ads are important. Man, the plane ticket here wasn't cheap. Okay, so a couple people asked. The very first one we're going to ask, what direction will him and Cotton, Newburn, take their new show on Motor Trend? So what, what's different than what you guys did before? Uh, it's pretty much going to stay the same. You know, have the same idea behind it, or we'll find cars and, uh, you know, put them up against an opponent or itself or whatever, and then in the end, trying to make it a little bit faster, you know? That's all about just getting in the garage with your buddy and, you know, souping up the car and having fun, so. No, I, you guys are killing it. I love it. I'm, I'm stoked to see the stuff. So it'll all be right here in my home garage. Uh, well, I say that. Um, the, these three episodes that are coming up, they're filmed right here in my garage at home, and uh, we may travel a little bit you know, on the next six, or we may do, you know, it's been talked about that we might do one or two of Cotton's. So I'd be down for that. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's up in the air right now. It's cool. This part of the country is so awesome. It's such a different thing to view than, yeah. everything's like so California centric for hot rods, it seems like. Yeah. Now you're out here, like the atmosphere's different, there's grass. Yeah. It's cool. It's friendly people, you know. Everyone's so friendly here. Yeah. Everyone's. They got bulk Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Money is no object. Uh, and you can only buy one hot rod, and that's 34 it. Ford, five one to coupe. Okie dokie. Yeah, 34 Ford. And you already Ford. have the one in your mind that you'd have. You know, the, you know the car, right? Okay, so yeah. So back years and years ago, my dad's best friend built a 34. It's a three one to coupe, but uh, it was sick. It was one of the baddest cars ever, and it was from my childhood, and it got sold to a town like Whitefish, Wisconsin, I believe it was. Is this like a want ad we're doing? Yes. So if you're watching this, if, is you, this have, radio? if you have any idea where this car may be, <laughs> I will, I'm going to send a picture to Dan. He's going to, he's going to insert it. <laughs> right he's going to insert it right here. Yeah. Man, you're really thinking my editing skills are good. Yeah. Okay. If you need okay. help, just give me a call. Um, <laughs> if you know where this car is, let me know. Cause I'd sell everything I own to buy it. So. Okay. Um, here, here's, this guy was kind of cheeky. He asked, did you show me how to install a rad cap? So everything I have doesn't have a rad cap. Really? I just, I borrow them. Oh. Borrow the car. 
But actually, someone sent me a 10 pack in the mail. So that was. Are pretty, you serious? Yeah, right from Rock Auto. Oh, dude. So I, every now. That was nice. Still won't have a rad cap, but I have a box of them full on the shelf. Oh, man. To me, a couple, because I do the same thing. Because like, none of these radiators are around here have. They're caps. all the same, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot more there. No, I just, we just did a video where I took Danny's car for a ride. And we got back just smoking. I'm like, oh, man, we got problems here. Oh, it had no rad cap, so just, yeah, cooling everywhere. Freshly painted, all new headers, everything. Oh, eh? nice. At least that, it was rusty. All slimy. Yeah, rusty water. It was fine. Okay, here's one that I'm on this guy's side. Seriously, why did he pull the widened chrome rims off the 57? I love the Kragers, but damn, it looked good before. No, oh, um, I love Krager wheels. Absolutely. But this thing. I know. It was made for those steel wheels. Like, literally, you, yeah. you set the rear end and all that for those wheels. Oh, absolutely. Uh, these are temporary. I'm, these are coming right back off and going on the Impala. These were only put on there to do burnouts with. That's it. The chrome steel wheels are right behind the camera. They're going right back on there. They will never come off this car because they fit this car perfectly. I had the rear end built in this car for those wheels. So they will never leave this car. They're my favorite, so don't worry. And I love Craigers too. I was panicked. I was panicked there. Are you going to leave any tri fives for the rest of us? Yeah. Of course. Are you going to leave any tri fives for the rest of us? Oh, wait, I only have the one. <laughs> I give them all to my friends. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, so last I talked to you, you had you bought three, and literally gave them all away. I had. I need to be around more. I had seven or eight at one time. Yeah. Like at, at one time, at one time or another, I had seven or eight, and I just, like I said, I literally scattered them amongst my friends because they wanted cars. I was like, yes, I need people to cruise with here, here. I need to know? hang out more here. Well, you know what? I need a southern car. So we actually have some stuff coming up that we've been talking about. We're not. <laughs> It's going to be good. We're so. also a bunch of bullshitters, so we'll see what really happens yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. This is, I actually like this one. What car looks best in bare metal? Bare metal. That's wow. a weird one, eh? I've never thought about that. Me neither. I mean, really, any car. As long as the body works not off. Exactly. If it's, if it's a nice, straight car, I mean, really, I don't know. Anything. There's some cool cars, like some of those, uh, we were talking, like, we talked cars last uh, three days straight but yeah some of those uh, like welder up cars they just let them rust like they like take yeah. the roof together make it look like it's gas weld maybe even gas weld them together and let yeah. them rust so i don't know if that's bare metal or not but i like that look i do too like stitch weld it all together and like replacement panels and just leave it it's a problem we like the same cars almost to a t that's true that's well well the tri fives be running as a group again on the tour yeah so my plan i'm thinking i'm gonna take the nomad and yeah there's Tri fives everywhere here, yeah. so we got plans. Oh yeah, we do. We'll be doing that for sure. I'm curious to know what y'all's first car was, <clears throat> and first hot rod. So I think both of us, our first cars were hot rods. Absolutely. What was yours? A '67 Impala ragtop. Nice. Mine was that car, '64 Impala. That's weird. That car, like that exact car. That's my first car when I was 13 years old. I was so we went. We were looking at cars, and I was talking to uh, Brandon a little bit, and we were talking about this thing. And he was saying, uh, like, he paid up for basically, like, you know, it wasn't cheap. No. And uh, Brandon was like, if it wasn't your car that you wanted, like, you would, you would have had to pass. Oh, of course not. But instead, you sold a bunch of Tri Fives. I did. Sentimental value got the best of me. So we kicked him out of the 55 Chevy Club. Yeah. Dang so it. <laughs> now you got to be in the Nomad. I'll come back. Nomad Club. I'll come back. <laughs> okay, a couple questions here. If you had to choose one, Blast or me or the Ugly Duckling? Oh, man. I got a lot of time in both of those. We, we saved the Ugly Duckling out of that barn. We put a lot of work in that car. But damn, we put a lot of work in Blasphemy too. Tri-5 Club is hanging by a thread. Blasphemy. Yeah, okay, good. Blasphemy's a cool car. I've always, always, always wanted to wheel that car down the drag strip. Why don't you just go grab it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that car is badass. I, like, that's right up there with 55 Chevys, bucket list stuff. Yeah. Everybody needs a 55 Chevy. They really do. <sighs> Even if you sat for a little bit, like you, you, like you never got one running or nothing. You just had those ones. Oh, no. I, my dad had a bad one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Two-door post, black. I had a dirt track motor in it. It was bad. I'll show you a picture when we go in the house. Okay. These people won't see it. No. When's he going to work on that postal Jeep? Oh, um, this year. <laughs> so, for sure. So, it's 2023. Right. Um, the thing's really solid, and it just needs something's going on with the ignition. So, I am going to pull it in here one weekend. I'm going to just spend a weekend on it and uh, get it running and driving because I want to just drive it around the yard. 
and uh, figure out what I want to do with it because I don't know if I want to lower it or like lift it a little bit, put it on one tons, make it four wheel drive. Um, you like to take good cars, take them apart, and kind of stop, eh? No, <laughs> that's cotton. <laughs> yeah. That thing is super solid. Oh yeah, it's sure. unbelievable. Out there. Yeah, it's all original. Uh, what cars are on your bucket list? That's actually the last question I got here. There's a bunch of other ones we can go through, but bucket list. Ooh. Um, the funny thing, I don't want to cut you off, but the funny thing about bucket list, we were like, so we spent uh, seven hours each way to go look at this yard. Yeah. So we talked a lot about cars and everything like that. Yeah. And uh, it was funny because on the way there, we we're looking at some cars and the marketplace changed on the way back and those, yeah. and the list of what we wanted changed. Yeah. It's, it's seriously, it's hourly what my bucket list cars are because <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Cause I'll, we can walk through the woods at a junkyard and we can just see a ton, a ton of cars and I can fall in love with every single one of them. Um, that's my problem. I like so many cars. I'm just addicted to classics, you know? Uh, so there's, I, I, I couldn't just... That's one thing that we... So the yard we were at, there was a lot of cars. And there was a lot of good cars that were there for too long. And yeah. they were, unfortunately, a lot of them turned into parts cars. Yeah. But we both kept saying the same thing. It's like, man, we just, like, we want to save them all. It's, it's classic. The, the classic story of all these old yards where they were a thing, and then the old man is getting older, passing off, the kids aren't interested. Like no. the same story here over and over. And everyone's like, oh, I wish I could save these and this and that. And actually, I mean, I know I said in my video, I don't know if you did or not, but people are always asking like, where do you get these cars? How do you find them? All this and that. Okay, well, you, you hop on a plane to Georgia, you fly all day, yeah. you get here late, you wake up at four o'clock in the morning, hop in a truck with a guy you met last year for a week, and then drive seven hours to North Carolina somewhere yeah. in the sticks. Yeah. Like, crazy yeah and have the time of your life yeah so that's how you find these cars they're not going to be next no. door like the little old lady with the big block chevelle doesn't know what she has I'm, i hate to tell you that probably isn't going to happen no you gotta screw around i mean like when you got those tri fives you drove like 15 hours that was 15 hours one way and the way i like i said the way i found those was i was on a road trip to arizona and just happened to spot that lot and then i told myself i was going to stop there on the way back through and i i didn't think i would ever find it but i found it finally and just, like I said, stopped in there, met Dickie, and became friends and started that relationship. So that's how all this started. So it's crazy. That's cr that is crazy. And you want to go back there you get yeah, again? Yeah, I do. I want to go for the, I want to go yeah, again. I want to well, take, take you back there. Yeah, I want to go. Because you know what I need is a car in Texas, from Texas, in Georgia, and I live in Canada. Yeah, you can store here and <laughs> we're, we're multiples. Great. You need multiples. Danny's got to have one too. You know, I have, so I, we were talking today, I have six tri fives, but Danny needs six, so to even it out. Yeah, exactly. So I'm even six dozen. short. Yeah. Dude, we can, we can fix that problem. This is what actually, I, I, I kind of want to know the answer to this. What happened to that 72 Grand Torino wagon with the Cummins in it? Uh, that was a roadkill car, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that Merlin Johnson from Merlin's Old School Garage built that car. Um, he sold it to the roadkill crew. They used it on an episode. And then they, I want to say they ended, they ended up selling that. I don't know. I don't know who got it, but they it, it sold. They don't. I don't think they they no longer have that car. So she gone. I think I think so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they sold it. That was a cool car. Who is David Newburn? <laughs> That's a good. One. See, you're not even a big deal, buddy. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> David Newburn for Motor Trend. He thinks it's a big deal. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty much. Vice Grip said cool. Oh, cool. He didn't say you were cool. Uh, just so we're cool. clear. Um, cool. So I, I just want to do a quick short video about it. So if you made it this far, now you can probably start gearing yourself into the Motor Trend app mm. and, and watch it. But so you also got YouTube, which I hounded you. Oh, dude, I've yeah. Hounded, I don't know how many times I hounded you to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, you're the reason I started my YouTube channel. Like, it's just like... So when you're huge, yeah. don't forget us little guys. Oh, come on. But... Uh, you're crazy. So yeah, last year Power Tour, we were out for dinner a few times and we were talking about it and stuff like that. And I was like, man, you guys start YouTube. I'm like, well, whatever, this and that. I was like, I don't know how many times, how did you, how did you, how did you, how did yeah. you, how did you your first thumbnail and everything. Yeah. And you, then. You, uh, you got me all the way through it. <laughs> so was, if it's if it's bad, you can blame the teacher a little bit. Yeah. And I know zero. That's the best part. Yeah. I was blind leading the blind there. Yeah. But no, I'm stoked you're doing it and, I'm, and it's working out. And well, hopefully we're going to do more together. I think we are. 
<laughs> I, th I think we are. We, we are. Uh, all the conversations we've had today, like, there might be some good stuff coming up. So we're going to try some stuff like that. So yeah. I'm excited for it. I mean, it was, you know, it, I'm not, it kind of threw me out of my element this weekend because I'm not going to look at yards. Full, yeah. Like, that's your deal. Like, you're kind of doing that. And you got some awesome videos of that on your channel. I'm in the garage grinding and doing whatever screen, which I know you do a lot of well, as well. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't normally go to yards and look, but like these, like people will send me stuff and be like, hey man, there's this yard, it's got a thousand cars in it. You need to check it out. I'm like, a thousand cars? Like, are you serious? Like, yes, I want to well, go check was, it out. So that's what we did yesterday. We went to a thousand cars and 30 acres or something like that. What do you say? How much, how big was it? it was, I don't know. It, it was, was a, a it, was, it was a farm. We went to a farm and basically, um, the old man and his son, they would travel up and down the East Coast and deliver cars to car lots, and they would take the used cars off the lots or buy cars on the way home, bring them home to their personal car lot, put them out there for sale. Whatever didn't sell, they'd pull them around and just park them in the woods and put new cars in the car lot. After so many years of doing that, they ended up with like 1,200 cars on their property. And it was like stacked deep. Different lots. Oh, yeah. We met all sorts of different people. Yeah. Found the guy with crazy gas pumps. It was, yeah. man, we were giving her... All day. Yeah, like we, we met this guy named Ed who let us tour the yard. And then after talking to him and hanging out, hell, he took us to like three different other places. Go for dinner with the guy Yeah, and stuff. took him to dinner. So, I mean, it was yeah, great. he had a water. He was a cheap date. But, uh, there, so yeah, everyone, like, again, I can't stress enough. Everyone's always like, where do you find these cars? And I mean, we both have a lot of cars. Right. And you know what it is, though, is you do these things and then you meet these contacts and you got to stay in touch with them. And then cars, like, I don't, you must have had two cars fall in my lap now. Yeah. Like people are like, hey, I have a tri five or I have this, or hey, I heard in you know, one of your videos you're looking for one of these. I have them. Yeah. And I mean, like I've I haven't traveled qua well, I guess I've done pretty far. Like I got my nomad, like I'm in the center of Canada. The nomad came from all like the west coast and I had to do like a relay okay. to get it to my place. And like those Camaros, same thing, they came from nine, ten hours away. Dang. So like you gotta you gotta drive. Yeah. Like what you did today, like or yesterday, we loaded up in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, empty trailer. Yeah. We went. Yeah. I mean, it's about making connections. It's about meeting people. Like, it's about who you know, you know? So, like I said, these people send me stuff all the time. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not collecting any more cars. I, I love looking at junk. And if there's somebody out there looking for something and I see it there, I can just, I can help them. Like, hey, what you're looking for is in this yard. I'll send you a picture if you want it. I'll bring it home for you, you know? So. Well, you do a real good job of that. Bringing stuff, like, you're saving them at a whole other level. I, I try, you know. I, the last thing I want to do is like have them go to the crusher. You know, that would break my well, heart. Well, I think like that's how we both kind of see it. Like for sure, just you want to yeah. save as much as you possibly can. And I mean, and the other thing is, and I know now people are gonna hear that and think, well, yeah, but you guys are, and we do have some following and some stuff like that, right? So we, but yeah, I mean, you know what? It what literally both of us four years ago were like totally unknown. Like I didn't have a YouTube channel. You no, were I'd, like. Doing was, your like regular day job. Yeah, I was a nobody. I'm, and uh, I'm still a you're nobody. still a nobody. Just I know, so I'm still a clear. nobody. But uh, like, <laughs> but now all of a sudden we you know, we're kind of a little bit known that we buy cars, we take care of them. Yeah. And you know the other thing is, and we were talking about it too, when we do sell cars, I would much rather sell a car at less than like not a loss, but just not get every last dollar out of it to know it's going to the right guy. Yeah. And I Absolutely. think we're the right guy in a lot of cases because people know. I mean, especially like what you've done with the Dicky stuff, where. Could they have some sort of tri are worth money? And could you send that to the proper place or like to the Rust Belt or whatever? Yeah. And probably get top dollar. Yes, but I mean, what you've done and, and stuff like that. You're getting these things. You're yeah. saving them. You're doing your deal. You know, you're putting them on TV. I mean, you're, you're giving the guy like he he was just a regular guy. Now people yeah. know of him and they kind of know his legacy and all that. Yeah. So you're the right guy. Like you're the right guy for those cars. And I think yeah. that's a big part of it. So. Yeah. Be the right guy. If you're nice to people and all that, just kind of works out. It'll come back to you for sure. All right, man. Well, I think we're babbling, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. What? It's almost time for bed. Dude, it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> it's nine thirty. Oh, I'm an my old bad. man. Anyways, I think that's it. So, Motor Trend right now, <coughs> and uh, yeah, watch the YouTube channels. That'd be great. And we got a few videos coming out. Yeah, they're gonna be good. All right. See you guys later.